Hi guys, right, I'm on the, the old mobile phone today, but a different footage for you. Now, it should be a pretty simple homebrew Wednesday, because I've been working on the fridge. The fermentation chamber. So let me uh, whiz you around and show you what I've done. So remember this is the fridge from the house that I've stolen. And I fitted the uh, standard 60 watt heater actually and I've gone to the drain hole. I'm going to put some clips on there but that's the basic uh, design. So it goes down the back, uh, a bit of a fight, camera comes up the back and appears here. Okay so that's the heater. Here's my uh, SEC 1000 box. So let's plug that in there. That in there. Let's plug some electricery in the back so we can power up the STC. Now this is a thermometer for the STC, so what I'll do is I'll uh, I'll just throw this in the door. Um, it's not going to be ideal. Really, I could do with um, a better connection. Everyone just sticks this to the side and ferment it, don't they? Not brill, but hey. So it's going to. Uh, well, it's, Where's the put it? No, well, really, you can just drop it in, is there? I should tape it to the side. But for now, I'll just stick it in there, yeah? <laughs> I have not tested this. you got to believe me. So, I'm going to lick you. It says it's 17 degrees, which uh, it probably is or has been on top because it was uh, it's quite cool. Uh, so I'll put the fan heater on, so what I'm going to do is set this, um, it says it's heat at the moment, so I guess the heating element, oh do you know what, I'm not actually switched on the bloody plug to look, it's not under anything is it? So what I'll do, I'll just let this settle out, um, I don't know what the set point is, I think it might be uh, 16, so, um, oh, it's at 19, so let's just alter that. Let's bring that down a little bit, because we, uh, it's not a little higher on fermentation, let's make it 18. Okay, and you press the power button to save. So it's at 15.8. Now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to turn off the SDC. Okay, I'll just flick these on. So that should be the fridge or the heater. The door is shut. Turn it on. Right, I might have to fast forward this video, but 15.3, uh, we should start heating up. I should put my hand on the element inside and see if it's getting warm. Right, I'll cut the warm it out. Let's fast forward to a good bit. Okay, I've set the digital thermometer up next to the STC just to see what they compare. Now, they were identical temperatures, but the digital thermometer seems to have roused their head. It just seems to be more sensitive. So, the set point is 18. So, it's still on heat. The thermometers are very, very close to each other inside. The thermocouples. As you can see, that's uh, that's tanking up in there. There you go. It's turned off the heat. I do expect a bit of an overshoot now because the heat doesn't instantly go off. Now the digital thermometer says it's 19.6. I'm expecting the cool to kick in. It's set for half a degree, but it's got a three minute delay. Well, the light's on. So there's power to the fridge. It just hasn't... Uh, Kicked in, you know, I've never tipped the uh, 
but it is uh, it's well down so uh was that turned oh bloody hell it was turned off never freaking work if it's turned off okay <laughs> there they are lessons learned zero on the earnings off <laughs> okay right well the stc that was quite good that the stc from the door open uh with the door open so the stc has worked out it's actually a bit cold so they are it's fired up the heater now and what's going to happen is it's going to cycle around the set point of uh, currently 18 okay well there you have it it works it works follow brew tubers well, i think that's a successful test i really fancy getting a raspberry pi got a spare one and setting it up so basically it can monitor temperatures and it'll be available via um, an internet connection, well, a network connection. But I can make it so you can view it anywhere in the world and then it'll just graph via a website on my temperatures. Now that'll be an awesome thing to do. I've had a look at it and it seems pretty easy. Maybe for another uh, homebrew Wednesday, I'll do that project and share it with you guys. Okay, well that's it this week. Mark from Hobdog Brewery, signing out. Don't forget, stay thirsty. <laughs>